guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison if you are new here and today I'm doing another Military Wife Week in the Life video. Today is Saturday and it's actually almost 5 p.m. and this is the first video that I'm gonna be sharing about my like normal daily life now that Christian is gone for quite a bit. If you saw the road trip vlogs or the packing vlogs, you're up to date and know that he is in California for a hot minute and I am in Virginia for a hot minute. I am making the most out of this time. I actually have an entire list on my phone. I'll read it to you later of like projects to work on while he's gone so I'm not just like wasting time and I'm staying busy and I'm not like focusing too much I'm just like being here by myself but I thought it'd be worthwhile to show you guys like how I'm trying to stay productive because I talk a lot in other videos about how I think it's really important to stay focused and stay productive and always be working on something even if it's not like a traditional job especially 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 if your spouse is not there with you. So I've gone through a couple of fexes or like field exercises where Christian's gone for the entire week or he's gone overnight or gone for a couple days. But this is like the longest stint that we're going to have gone so far of him like being somewhere else. And thankfully he is not like the D word, he's not deployed or anything. He has training in California right now and I just can't be with him during that. So something that's a little bit different like initially with him being gone is I am really motivated to clean our home for him to come home to a nice place, if that makes sense. When I was in college and growing up in high school and like have my own bedroom in my parents house I was kind of sloppy which might surprise you guys but I mm -mm, you wouldn't see the carpet a lot of the times in my place but I've gotten a lot better here but this past week I've been taking it really easy on myself and not like trying to be super hard I'm like look at you being a complete disaster you're a mess because I'm trying to have a little bit of grace especially this like first week of being back here in Virginia running solo so um I'm gonna show you what my apartment looks like please limit judgment it's not terrible, but it could be a lot better. There's a lot going on all around here. But a lot of the stuff that is laying out, I'm taking care of tonight for sure, because I'm filming a new nighttime cleaning routine tonight. So that video will actually already be up. I'll share it up here if you want to check it out. A lot of the stuff out here, I kept out here because I wanted to show you guys because it's part of like my plan to stay busy. So the first thing that I'm doing to stay busy and productive and just mainly distracted from being here and not having a husband come home at night is that I'm starting a really ridiculous mental toughness work out thing called 75 hard. I don't know if I'm going to stick through it, but basically there's like five simple rules and you do these five simple rules every day for 75 days. But the rules are you drink a gallon of water every day. You take a progress photo every day. You pick any diet, but you stick to that diet. No cheat days, no alcohol. You do that every single day. You need two workouts every single day. They each have to be 45 minutes and one of them has to be outside. And then what's the fifth one? Oh, you have to read 10 pages of a nonfiction book every day. So to help me get through this, I made a couple little mini investments on Amazon mostly. So one of the workouts that I am doing is like one of the Chloe Ting like booty sculpt workouts like a I think it's a 35 day booty sculpt. I'll share that down in the description bar too. Everything I mentioned if you're curious about more often than not I'll have it down there linked but I bought some resistance bands and these are super cute and they have um, a bunch of different fun colors. My favorite is this blue one but it's also my favorite because it's the light resistance. So I got those also to help me with the one gallon challenge every single day, I bought a new bigger version of my favorite water tumbler that comes with a straw on top. I actually left my favorite one, like the marble one that I'm always drinking out of in California. So I got a new one. I also got a bunch of string. So I don't know, actually, we're gonna have to go into the office to explain this one a little bit. I bought this macrame cord. I'm sure you've seen like all like the boho Pinterest room decor of like those like hanging wall pieces that have like intricately tied knots and like dream catchers type stuff. Well, I'm not super into that, but I saw this online and I was like, you know what? I could make that. And I thought it would be a really good thing to keep my hands busy. And they're little macrame coasters. So you can tie them in little knots and make little fringe out of them. And I thought it would be really fun to make. And I've made two so far. I actually had another one that was not nearly as good as this that I gave up halfway on, but these aren't bad. I was just kind of smushing them flat under some books so they lay flat. But this ball of cord, macrame cord, cotton cord, whatever you want to call it, was a really good price on Amazon. I ordered it with everything else in that box that came in. And then there's one more thing that I got in that Amazon order, which I am so excited about. And it is the new Twilight book. If you guys know, you know, I'm not gonna ramble on about this, but mm, it is out. I'm a big fan of it. I'm trying not to go through it too fast because I want it to last a while and be enjoyable. That is an update on like what my like initial projects are to stay busy is I'm working on YouTube, working on my fitness challenge, water gallon drinking all the time, reading, doing my macrame stuff, I'm trying to stay as busy and productive as possible and it's really helping. It also helps right now that Christian can call me like whenever I really want to talk to him because
because he is currently in a quarantine so he can't do anything for the next couple of like days I think. He's almost done with it though so we'll see how much his like training picks up after that. Also if you couldn't care less about my fitness challenge 75 hard thing don't worry I'm not going to be like too crazy talkative about it. Just want to explain it a little bit in this video in case you were curious. So for my diet I made just a couple simple rules. I'm doing no dairy because I'm 99% sure I am lactose intolerant. I'm also doing no white carbs and then no desserts. So pretty simple and straightforward, not super hard to eat around that. And to keep track of all of it, I laminated this um, post-it note sticker and then just like marked off these. And this has like the tasks you have to do every single day so you can cross them off. You can see we are on day three now. I actually have done a couple of these already. I did my inside workout and I did my picture. So focusing on taking care of that and checking everything off of that list throughout the day has been super motivating because I am a very task oriented person. Like I love to do lists. It is super motivating to me to see a full list of a long list of things to do. I just said list like six times in that sentence, but I am a very task oriented person. So give me a task and I will do it. Even though I will say I almost quit yesterday from this stupid challenge. I'm going to chill for a minute. I might honestly read some more of Midnight Sun. I was taking a break from that. And while I was doing my macrame, I was watching all of Selling Sunset season three, but I finished it. So I might just read for a little bit because dinner is going to be in a little bit. I don't have much to do beyond that because I got all my workouts done. I'm up to date on work. I need to clean this place, but I already told you guys that I'm filming that video later tonight, but I'm going to take a break and read a little bit. That'll be nice. Oh, and drink water. I'm always drinking water. I'm drinking water and peeing nonstop now. Okay, I had to stop myself. I could just be reading that book forever and ever, but I'm trying to make it last and I'm gonna move on to dinner. So I actually cleaned this up a bit. I just took care of all the dishes, put them in the sink, cleaned up over here a bit because it's kind of a hot mess. And now we're going on to making dinner. I wanna do some sweet potato fries and then the world's worst tasting salmon from Walmart. It comes in like a big bag of like their frozen salmon fillets. I do not recommend this. Do not buy this. I think it's terrible from Walmart. If you want to have some of salmon from Walmart, go for the fresh, like in the like plastic container, like not frozen kind. This stuff, not good, but I'm eating it. I'm not wasting food, but I have a dilemma because I like to cook this salmon in the air fryer, but that's also what I like to do for my sweet potato fries. So I don't know if which one should go in first. Cause I don't think I can fit them both in there together. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. I also don't know if I can eat like an entire sweet potato fries. Okay. I was just about to reach for this. This is my favorite knife to do cutting up for French fries, but Nissan is a really cool like Kickstarter knife brand, but they reached out to me and asked if they could send me one of their knives, not sponsored. They just wanted to send one over, see if I liked it. And so I think I'm going to finally try this bad boy out on my potatoes. Let's wash him first. Okay, you might not be able to hear me over the air fryer, but the fries are done. They look a little burnt, but that's normally what'll just happen when you're trying to air fry stuff to get it nice and crispy. Those are perfect. And for the fries, I put rosemary, garlic, salt, and pepper. I am a spices and seasoning addict. And the salmon is currently going in the air fryer right now. I'll also share this down in the, below if you're interested. It's a smaller size, so it's really good for cooking for just one or two people. But on the salmon, I sprinkle this chili lime seasoning blend, and then I put lemon pepper seasoning on top. And I made a salad with lettuce, spinach, tomato, there's something else in here, onion, that that's gonna go on top of. And I guess we need a salad dressing. I think this is from Target. It's just a vinaigrette, super simple. And that is dinner for the night. Good morning guys, it is now Sunday morning around 9 a.m. I've gone through a little bit of my morning routine and I let myself sleep in because I was up so late filming the um, nighttime cleaning routine. But I will say, 
it was so nice to wake up to a house that was spotless. Well, it wasn't spotless, but all of the like main messes were totally taken care of. I actually have the dishwasher to empty now because I ran that last night and it was just really nice and peaceful to have like the dishwasher in the background. I had a candle burning and like just wake up this morning to have a clean house is something foreign to me because normally we wake up and the place is a mess. Also, I love this water bottle. I started using it today because I finally washed it last night. I'm a big fan. It is smaller than my other water bottle, so I have to drink five and a half of these to get a gallon in, but we're already one gallon strong. And the reason I wanted to start the video here is I wanted to go through with you guys what like part of my little morning routine is. On this table over here, I keep a fat stack of books always. And so far the morning routine that I've fallen into since Christian has left is honestly sleeping in a little bit more than I normally do. Normally I'm the kind of person to be up at like 6 a.m., 5 a.m. super early. And then I will come to this little spot in my office and I wanna drink half of one of these guys before I make my coffee. So then after half of that, I'll make my Nespresso. But while I'm drinking my water, I first start off with this book, New Morning Mercies by Paul Tripp. It's a daily devotional. And then I will go and typically into my Bible, read the proverb of the day. So whatever the date is, I will go and read that proverb that goes with that. And I'm also right now reading through 2 Samuel. And then the the last thing I'm doing is working through To Hell With The Hustle. It's also like a Christian based book. It's not the typical self-help book where it's like, these are your habits you must set. Here's how you can be a productivity master. Here's all your life hacks. It's actually kind of the opposite of that and saying like, we all need to slow down a bit and like being ordinary and not like productivity like hacks and geniuses. That's not like what God wants for us. So it's really, really interesting. Even if you are not a Christian, I think it's a solid read to work through because it just kind of reframes how we are so overconnected and over plugged in and overworked in this world and how that's really detrimental to all of our health and to society overall. And now I need to go empty the dishwasher, which I rarely have to do in the morning because I never had that done. And then I'm going to go make the bed. So that is the plan for the morning. Also, I put some makeup on, but this guy is not gonna be covered up. He's a little bit fresh. I kind of picked at him a little bit, which I shouldn't have done. But you know how if you, like, you put makeup over like a fresh one, it doesn't really cover it. It just kind of absorbs it. He's just gonna rock out like here today. I hope he's not too bothersome. wrapped up and I'm debating what to do next because I have to go outside for a 45 minute walk and the weather app is not looking promising. 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. is a 50% chance of rain so I probably should do that sooner rather than later. I really don't want to and I was also planning on filming today and I already got ready so if I like go out and get sweaty and shower I'd have to get ready again but maybe I'll just put a chop filming for tomorrow. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do it right now. I needed to do something else though. What was I going to do? Oh! I remember. I wanted to give you guys an update on the housing situation. If you saw the last two videos, you know that we just got Christian settled over in California and blah, 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 all of that. I've rambled on about that way too much. So Christian applied for the movers to be like assigned to us. And so the government or the military, whoever does it, has assigned us a moving company. And that company reached out to us and said, hey, instead of doing like an in-person walkthrough to figure out how many guys we need there, how big of a truck we need, how much packing material we need, normally they'll send somebody in person to go look through your apartment and do that. But because COVID, they did it just all virtually so I went and took a video of the whole apartment sent that off to them and now we just wait because I think I think we're good now I think we have movers coming a certain day and they're gonna pack everything up and then hopefully that same exact day I'm gonna be piecing out of here and on my way so that's the update I'm moving we have movers book they like know how big our space is we have an address for our next house they know exactly where they're taking it okay so even though I would very much rather stay in pajamas stay inside and just read my book all day I do need to go for my walk so let's get some workout gear on and get outside just to get it over with. What shirt do I want? You can tell it's getting close to the end of when I've done laundry recently when nothing that I'm wearing goes together at all.
So my outdoor workout is good for the day and I'm gonna get my indoor one done. So the main program I'm following is the Chloe Ting 35 day challenge butt workout or whatever. So the first two videos are 30 minutes of her stuff, but I need 45 minutes. So I grabbed a bunch of like the fun dances from um, Mad Fit and then a five minute cool down. So these six together equal my 45 minutes of exercise. So let's start. Hey guys, happy Monday. So today is a busy day. My mother-in-law leads a Bible study for, we jokingly call it the McPhail Wives Club because I have two sister-in-laws. So the four of us do a Bible study every single week. This morning I got ready for tomorrow's study. I also had breakfast. I talked to Christian. Well, actually I didn't talk to Christian. He's still asleep right now. But I texted him a bunch of updates on like moving stuff because we're trying to figure out the logistics of my flight out there. And like if I need to get a rental car because we're going to ship my car over. So I don't, I'm not going to immediately have a car over there. And then what day we should have the furniture delivered and all of those details. I was working on that this morning too, but I want to get my workout done with that way I can focus on work because I need to get a lot of YouTube work done today because I am not in this apartment very much longer and I need to start getting things pre-filmed and ready to go. I need to get organized. I need to get on top of everything going on and I have a video that needs to go live tomorrow. So I need to edit that. It's already filmed. <sighs> There's a lot to do today. So I think it'll be easiest if I just get the workout knocked out in the beginning of the day and then I'm free for the rest of it. Also, since today is a rest day for the Chloe Ting challenge I'm doing, I'm gonna do like a 45 minute like YouTube yoga class and let me know what your favorite yoga instructor on YouTube is. showered we are looking a little bit crazy but that's okay i have some chili and triscuits that is on my diet plan that works and i'm gonna sit down and do some work some serious serious work it's about noon and we'll see when i finally like get up from this desk whenever I see like the little viewfinder next to the camera and I can tell how rough I look and I'm like, am I really filming a video while I look like a zombie? And the answer is yes. But if you can hear the hum of the computer, I just finished editing this video, the nighttime cleaning routine, little sneak peek. Ooh, actually it's not a sneak peek. This video is already live, but this video is super relaxing and super slowed down and really nice and easy. And I'm actually going to go watch a little bit of TV and chill for a second because I am done with that. It is almost 4 PM. So it actually was a really quick edit. Normally I will spend between six to 10 hours editing a video. I'm going to take my macrame balls and I'm gonna go make I think a larger version of the coaster because this is a good size for like a cup but I want to be able to stack it underneath um, like a candle. So I have like the anthropology candle and if I put it on there, it's just like too big for that. So I want to make one, maybe the size for this guy. Actually, that would be really cute. And then I have two of these guys. And then, so I want to make two large ones and I'm actually going to give one set as a gift to my sister-in-law. I'll link a video down below where they explain how to do it. But basically the only supplies you need is this. You need the macrame, the scissors, and the ruler. I would show you guys how I do it, but honestly, the tutorial that I followed is probably a whole lot better than any way that I could describe it. It's like a three minute long video. So I'm going to make this. Oh, and right before I start, this is what I did with mine. I put it underneath the candle that's a little bit smaller, like a typical Bath and Body Works candle. So that's kind of cute, right? Like it's a good layering decor piece. guys happy tuesday so i have already done quite a bit of stuff today i have both of my workouts done hold on let me get you situated i had to pull the tripod out for this okay so i think i'm finally falling into a good morning routine i used to love my morning routine from the, like the one that i shared a while ago it was my 5 a.m morning routine and i like would wake up read have coffee with christian work out like it was this whole thing that i had like down to a t and then 
coronavirus happened and then that completely went out the window because Christian was home all the time and it was easier to skip a workout and then I was off the bandwagon with workouts for a while. So this morning I slept in a little bit. I need to get better about that. I woke up at seven. But then I came in here to my little reading corner, did my devotional, read a little bit, um, did the 10 pages for 75 hard and I'm currently doing the To Hell with the Hustle book really really convicting chapter this morning about like taking a rest day every single week and like the sabbath and all of that it's a little bit later in the morning than i'd like it to be but it's so much easier to start focusing on my work knowing that all of that stuff is taken care of like the housekeeping stuff and like the keeping up with my body stuff is good to go and i feel great about that and i have quite a to-do list today i need to film a closet declutter but before i do that i have a bunch of like little annoying to-do list things that are just like sitting around i have something to return to amazon a watch charger that didn't work our easy pass for like the Virginia Expressways. I had to call a car place because we have a bunch of receipts that they owe us money for. It's this whole thing. Valvoline messed up my car and they are being very difficult. So I need to take care of that. I need to update the budget and I want to make a better workout playlist. This is also what I wanted to talk about. So I found that I was getting super bored with my indoor workouts. I was literally yawning during my workout. Who yawns during their workout? Like it wasn't that I wasn't working hard or like that it wasn't challenging. I was just like bored and I realized it was the music because it's like the YouTube generic non-copyrighted music. So I understand the struggle and I'm very thankful for the free workouts, but I realized I just need a better like workout playlist to pump me up throughout it. Cause I just told my Alexa to play like Beyonce for the hour and it was like amazing, but I want to do a more curated playlist. Today's going to be a very productive to-do list heavy day. Thank you for calling Valvoline Instant Oil Change Customer Care. Hi, my name is Allison McPhail. Thank you very much. I've called this customer service line now like four times and every time I call the people who I'm talking to from customer service are amazing and then they try to call the person who's either going to approve or deny my like claim for being reimbursed for what they broke on my car basically. And I keep doing the same thing. It's like, oh, we can't get a hold of her. Or like, I called her, she didn't answer. I left a message, she's supposed to call you. And she just called back and said the same exact thing basically. But she's like, you know what? I'm gonna keep bugging them. They might be at lunch right now. I'm gonna call you back at two o'clock. So moving on to something else. Greener pastures. I'm gonna work on um, doing this Amazon return. Okay, I was just checking the Amazon stuff and pulling up my recent orders and I realized that an order I placed a couple days ago apparently got here. Okay, so the one thing I have been missing with this diet is that I haven't been able to have like good crunchy snacks. I've been having Triscuits because those are whole wheat, but these are like protein made popcorners. They fit within the diet. I'm very excited to have these. But now back to what I was doing to return the janky stuff. That is so great. I can do a Kohl's drop off. And so I'm going to do, I just apparently bring this to Kohl's. I don't need to package it or label it or do any of that. And I can just return it. I need to add that to my to-do list to go out to Kohl's. That is done. Well, it's kind of like a new thing to check off, but I've also scheduled that. Update the budget. Let's do that. I'm going to make a whole video on how we update our budget and how we use every dollar budget, but I'm obsessed with this. It is so easy and has made our life so much easier. Okay, a lot of those things are taken care of, or at least they're scheduled for a future date. I made an appointment at the DMV to return the transponder expressway pass thing. I reorganized my to-do list, so I have now a list for Friday because my DMV appointment's on Friday, and then I now have my list for today. So that is a little bit less chaotic in my brain. I'm going to get set up in the bedroom now so I can start filming whenever I get that call from Valvoline. And oh, I had some of these. They're delicious. 10 out of 10, would recommend. All right guys, it's now well after two o'clock and nothing from the oil change company. I feel bad. I don't wanna like make this video super negative and like not fun to watch because I know that I don't like to be watching stressful people or people that are stressed out. And I feel like in that last clip, I was definitely stressed out. So I try to find a balance on this channel of being real and open and just like telling you guys how I feel in the moment while also making sure it's kind of a little bit filtered and a little bit of a positive spin because I really don't think creating videos that put that kind of stuff out onto the internet, it's really helpful in any sort of way. But with all of that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.